Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health and mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Today, the Thursday in the first week of Lent, we are continuing our catechesis in prayer, uh, reminding us of this very important spiritual exercise during the season of Lent. Let us ask the Lord now for forgiveness for the times and the moments when we did not open our hearts to Him and to accept His love. And so we pray. Kyrie eleison, 
Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Let us pray. Bestow on us, we pray, O Lord, the spirit of all is pondering on what is right and of hastening to carry it out. And since without you we cannot exist, may we be enabled to live according to your will, to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Esther. Queen Esther, seized with mortal anguish, had recourse to the Lord. She lay prostrate upon the ground, together with her handmaids, from morning until evening, and said, God of Abraham, God of Isaac, and God of Jacob, blessed are you. Help me, who am alone and have no help but you, for I am taking my life in my hand. As a child, I used to hear from the books of my forefathers that you, O Lord, always free those who are pleasing to you. Now help me, who am alone and have no one but you, O Lord, my God. And now come to help me, an orphan, put in my mouth persuasive words in the presence of the lion and turn his heart to hatred for our enemy so that he and those who are in league with him may perish. Save us from the hand of our enemies. Turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with all my heart, for you have heard the words of my mouth. In the presence of the angels, I will sing your praise. I will worship at your holy temple and give thanks to your name. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Because of your kindness and your truth, for you have made great above all things your name and your promise. When I called, you answered me. You built up strength within me. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Your right hand saves me. The Lord will complete what he has done for me. Your kindness, O Lord, endures forever. Forsake not the work of your hands. Lord, on the day I called for help, you answered me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. A clean heart create for me, God. Give me back the joy of your salvation. Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, King, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. And he who seeks finds, to the one who knocks the door, it will be opened. Which one of you would hand his son a stone when he asks for a loaf of bread or a snake when he asks for a fish? If you then who are wicked know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give good things to those who ask him? Do to others whatever you will have them do to you. This is the law and the prophets. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. On the 16th and 17th of March this year, the Jews will celebrate Purim. It is like a spring carnival where people, especially children, don costumes and are given sweets. It is a time for festivity. And in the synagogue, the Old Testament book of Esther, where we got our first reading, is read. This book tells us the origin of the Feast of Purim that celebrates the liberation of the Jews from extermination in the Persian Empire under Xerxes the Great. The backstory of our first reading is this. Haman, the vizier or second in command in the empire under Xerxes, is offended by the action of the Jew Mordecai, the uncle of Esther, because he refuses to prostrate before Haman. As a pious Jew, such an act for Mordecai was equal to venerating Haman as a god. Haman plots revenge against Mordecai and all Jews by planting fake news that the Jews are disloyal and plotting against the king. 
The opposite is actually true, as the Book of Esther says. Mordecai had saved Xerxes in the past by divulging an assassination plot by two soldiers, for which Xerxes commands Haman to pay Mordecai honor. This, of course, feeds into Haman's anger and the machinations of revenge. Mordecai sends word to Esther, who is in the king's harem, to seek an audience with Xerxes. Although she is the favorite and treated as queen, Esther knows that she cannot just break protocol and barge into the presence of the king. Such audacity merits death unless the king extends a scepter of mercy. On the eve of her encounter with Xerxes, Esther makes the prayer we read today, asking that God soften the heart of the lion or the king and look upon her kindly, which Xerxes does, and Esther pleads for clemency for the Jews. Esther's prayer is cited this day as a continuing catechesis on prayer, constant and steadfast prayer. Yesterday, we heard the Ninevites returning to God in contrite prayer as they listened to the warning of the unwilling and hesitant prophet Jonah. In the Gospel, Jesus tells us the power of insistent and untiring prayer, making analogies with the Good Father who will not give his children a stone when they ask for bread or a snake when they ask for a fish. Prayer is one of the three components of Lenten discipline. The other two are mortification or penance and good works. But the most basic is prayer. The mystic St. Therese of Avila reminds us that prayer is the key to transformation. We are incapable of staying mortified or unceasing in good work. We tire easily without prayer. Why is prayer so important? Because insistent and steadfast prayer changes us. When we ask God, we can end up clarifying to ourselves if what we ask for is really something we really need or just a want, a passing fancy, whether it is a necessity or luxury. Prayer gives us an insight into our spiritual state and our desire and binds us strongly with God. St. Paul says, pray unceasingly. How can we fulfill that gospel injunction? Let me suggest a simple practice of the presence of God. Remind yourself that you are always in God's presence. Do this when you begin the day and at other points when you change activities, like after your morning ritual and before breakfast, when you go to work, by commuting or virtually, in the middle of the day, and so on and so forth. Start with a few points in time when you tell yourself, I am in the presence of God. Or to quote Beth Midler, God is watching us. Increase those points in your day until you sense that you can habitually come into God's presence during the day, even when you are busiest. And so we pray, grant we beseech you, O Lord, that every thought, word, work of ours, they begin from you and with your gracious assistance be completed through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us now turn to the Lord in prayer and present to him our petitions for today. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, let us not be weary in our supplications to you, for you will answer our prayers in ways that are best for us, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear the cry of the poor and the oppressed who have no one but you to help them. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, help us to live by the golden rule, to do to others whatever we would have them do to us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, save us from our enemies and their evil plans against us. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, turn our mourning into gladness and our sorrows into wholeness. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those celebrating their birthdays, Dr. Mon Fernandez, May Linda So, and Anne Ko, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the healing of Father Manny Perez of the Society of Jesus, Elenita Bolipata, Rica Bolipata Santos, and Maggie Carlos, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the repose of the souls of Filipinas Tianco Sawit, Victor Rodolfo Marcelo, 
Jerome Mo Moga, Zoe and March, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the special intentions of Serge and Paching de la Fuente, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions sent to our Facebook pages at Jescom and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, you give good things to those who ask you. May we turn to you in moments of need and to thank and praise you for your goodness to us. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My sisters and my brothers pray that this our sacrifice be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Be merciful, O Lord, to those who approach you in supplication and accepting the oblation and prayers of your people, turn the hearts of all toward you. We ask you this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for by your gracious gift each year your faithful await the sacred Paschal Feast with the joy of minds made pure, so that more eagerly intent on prayer, on the works of charity, and participating in the mysteries with which they have been reborn, they may be led to the fullness of grace that you bestow on your sons and daughters. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing them of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, with the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and you make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting up your sacrifice will be made to the glory of your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Holy Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts you have brought you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, Lord, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished 
by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with His Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. And may He make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain the inheritance of your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Ignatius, Francis, Savior, and Peter, Favor, and all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. And may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to f- confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis, our Pope, Onesa, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, and all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion, O merciful Father. Grant to your children... Okay. Gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters who are pleasing to you in their passing from this life, we come and meet and see your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, whom you bestow on the world all that is good. For through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us prepare to receive the Lord into our lives as together we pray the prayer that he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days by the help of your mercy. We be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace to all. Peace be with you. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus. He is the Father's gift to us. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring us all to life everlasting. Amen.
Everyone who asks receives, and the one who seeks finds, and the one who knocks, the door will be opened. Let us pray. We pray, O Lord our God, that as you have given these most sacred mysteries to be the safeguard of our salvation, so you may make them a healing remedy for us, both now and for in the time to come to Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Just bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the mercy they have hoped for, O Lord, come to those who make supplication to you. May the riches of heaven be given them, that they may know what is right to ask and receive what they have sought to Christ our Lord. Amen. May, may the mighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.